Hi everybody and welcome to the Electronics and Programming Beginner's Guide. Something I want to share with you and something that I really enjoy is that uh, studying to be an electrical engineer and understanding how electronic things work, I have the ability to call out people's bullshit. And what this is relating to is this guy right here. This is a, a Belkin, in the name and shame, uh, car USB charger and said so I bought this all the specs look great and I'll, I'll show you the box up close here in a second uh, it's rated at 2.1 amps which should be perfect to charge my phone uh, the which I have a HTC one M9 uh, this is the native charger for my phone and this is rated at 1.5 amps so this 2.1 amp charger should be able to push 1.5 amps into my phone without any problem. But I checked it and it doesn't. So uh, first let's uh, take a look at uh, the current draw for both the, the car charger and for the native wall charger. And uh, so I'm going to, well I already pulled this thing apart that's why it's got the tape on it. I don't know if you can see it because I wanted to run some more tests on it. But I also propose a modification to this that I think will get this thing charging up to the one and a half amps that my phone can take. So uh, let's take a closer look. So this is, this guy right here is the offending uh, charger. And this is the box for it. As you will note that it, well, it's a Belkin. It, this is a, a Mixit charger and it's rated for 10 watts, which is a very random number because, well, is it 10 watts on the 12 volt side or 10 watts on the five volt side? Well, if we look at the back here, well, let me see if I can focus on that a little better so you can see it. There we go. If you look right here, it's rated at 10 watts or 2.1 amps. So this is on the 5 volt side. This is uh, what is supplied to your phone. So first, let's uh, use a, a multimeter and compare this to a, a regular charger. So this is an HTC charger. This is rated at 1.5 amps. I'd, I'd show you the specs, but they're very difficult to read because this is all shiny and whatnot. So this is my phone here in the background. And I said I have it I have it plugged in here with the cord, and this is the cord to this guy. And to measure the current, I'm gonna use this device right here. Uh, I know it looks really cobbled together because it is. This is uh, one of my past projects and it had USB plugs on both ends so what it did was I cut the uh, power line I, I cut the plus line on the USB side and I broke it out to two wires so what this lets me do is it lets me really easily measure the current to a USB device also the USB lines go straight through so you can continue USB communication uh, with this device plugged in uh, the only downside to this device really is, is you can kind of make out these red wires are the USB lines going straight through because I bypass some stuff. And this might not be able to sustain high speed communication if you're talking like USB 2.0. But for our purposes, this is perfect. So this gets plugged into the wall charger like that. And then this gets plugged into... Oh, come on. This gets plugged into... Oh, my goodness. Okay, there we go. Into that. And now, I've got my meter here. And... Oh, let me move that cord. Uh, the meter is set to DC amps. And I've got the jack and the amps jack. And now I'm going to come over here. And let me see if I can do this without blocking it. So whenever I connect this, you should see current and did you see my phone light up in the background and if you look at the meter I'm drawing right around 1.5 amps exactly what the charger is rated to 
like that. And now that the screen went out, it's drawn a little less. So let me show you that screen lighting up again. So now I disconnect it. And now I connect it again. And boom, there's the screen. So the, the phone recognizes that it's plugged in. The way it recognizes this is using something called a dedicated charging port. So this, this charger uh, shows up to the phone as a dedicated charging port. And I've checked, and the way this charger shows that the phone that it's a dedicated charging point, port is that the USB lines are shorted together inside the charger. So let me see if I can demonstrate this for you. Uh, this is kind of hard. Let me go ahead and unplug all of those. Unplug this from the wall. And I can use... Let me go ahead and switch this back over to resistance like that. So if I take my two leads and I short them together, it shows me just about zero ohms. Uh, this is not a super high resolution meter. Let me go like that. And there it is. I am on the two USB lines. Uh, I know, sorry. It's kind of hard to get it in the shot like that. So right there, I'm on the two USB lines that uh, go out to the to the phone. And this is this makes the phone show up as a regular charger. So now I have a power supply down here, and I'm going to get that set up, and I'm going to come right back. All right, and we're back. So now I've got the uh, card charger, and you can see, kind of, kind of hard to see that the uh, the green LED is on. I've got a power supply supplying power to it, and I wanted to show you the voltage. It is a little lower than car voltage. It's ten point six volts. Unfortunately, my power supply is kind of on the older side. And they just can't, the voltage can't go that high on it. But uh, if there are some discrepancies in the measurement, I will take this over to, I will take the, you know, the, the, the camera over to my car and actually shoot it in my car because I did check it in my car first before using the power supply. So I'm going to grab the, the tool here. Oh, goes in this way. Go ahead and plug in the cord like that and uh, my phone I probably should have set this up ahead of time but anyway there's my phone okay so now I need to take this back to current like that now let me push this in the camera view so now I can measure the current to my phone and 0.44 amps and this is exactly what i saw in my car so i'm fairly confident that the power supply is supplying enough current to or i guess enough voltage to the charger but something to notice is that let me do it again i disconnected the positive side and i connected it back up as you can see my phone did not light up when i connected this uh, you can check my phone. It's kind of hard to show you this, but my phone is charging. It is taking, you know, just under a half an amp, but it's not taking the 1.5 amps like you saw with uh, this charger. It's only taking a half an amp, and as I showed you on the box, this charger is rated for uh, 2.1 amps. So what's the problem? What I think the problem is that the this charger, the way the uh, dedicated charging port is recognized by my phone through the, the plug over here isn't the same because I measured this and the uh, uh, resistance on the USB terminals isn't shorted together like this guy. Uh, there's actually, you see a resistance in there. And uh, let me try and show you that. Let me turn off the power supply before I short something up. Oh, there we go. Disconnect you and change you back over to resistance like that.
So same test as before, if I short my probes together, you see nothing or very little resistance. And then if I measure the the contacts, there we go. It's reading, I don't know, 46, 47 ohms. There we go. It was, uh, when I measured it last, it was right around 50, so that's that's about right. So, first, I'm going to take this thing apart and show you what the insides look like, and then I'm going to solder the two connections together for the uh, USB lines, and we'll see if my phone reacts differently, differently to this charger than it did before. Something that I forgot to mention earlier, and I just wanted to highlight this, that this charger is actually made for my phone, is if you look at the list of supported manufacturers right here, HTC is on the list, meaning that this should uh, work with HTC. But I was doing some research online, and I found that, I found the document which states which uh, the document published by the governing body of USB, which states how uh, the a dedicated charging port should be set up, and according to the document, a standard dedicated charging port should have the D plus and D minus pins shorted together. So, in reality, this charger is probably meant for an iPhone or some other device that does not follow the dedicated uh, charging port standard and they just rebadged it and you know slapped HTC on the side well it'll it'll charge it I mean which it did it charged it at half an amp but it doesn't actually fully you know it doesn't actually charge at full speed or full full rate so getting this thing apart isn't terribly difficult. It took a little bit of prying on these ears here, which caused the top section to separate like that. And then some general pulling and prying will make this thing come apart. Something interesting to note is that uh, only the ear on one side is actually electrically wired up. This ear over here isn't wired up at all. There we go. See, it's not even connected. And this here's got a little wire going to it. You can see and it's attached. So I'm going to pry this out of there. And yeah, I know using the multimeter probe is not the, the best way of doing it. Oops. But it's available and it's nice and quick. So this... While I was messing with this thing, one thing I had a lot of trouble with is the spring actually pulled right out of the the solder joint right there, and I ended up having to resolder it because there was a short that kept coming and going. So I was trying to play with it. I was pulling my hair out there for a little. It said, "Reflow the solder on that." And now it's nice and tight in there; it doesn't move anywhere. So just kind of a general look over the whole thing. Let me. Uh, uh, where's my fancy pointer? I e a pen. Oh, I just saw it too. Oh, there it is. Aha. So you have a input filter capacitor and an output filter capacitor. Uh, they're both electrolytic. Just one surface mount is one is through hole. Uh, there is a what looks like a SOIC 8 chip under here, then it's got a little potting compound on it. Is that potting compound or is that heatsink compound? Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, that might be heatsink compound actually, because this uh, plate here kind of acts as a heatsink for the whole thing. Yeah, I'm now kind of thinking that's heatsink compound. But the, uh, the USB terminals were after. They're kind of hidden down there, and I'm going to pull this plate off and then try and uh, short those guys together and then uh, see what happens with the um, uh, the charging, see if it charges better. 
but other than that this seems to be a pretty simple uh, DC to DC converter uh, this section right here kind of looks like it might be a flyback but uh, something to note is when you put this guy back in uh, this ear actually sits almost right on top of it's kind of hard to see this ear kind of sits almost right on top of the windings for this guy which is uh, kinda I don't like it I don't uh, and then this ear sits almost right up against this capacitor Nah, don't quite like it as well but uh, I'm gonna pull this plate off and then I'm gonna solder those wires together and see what happens okay so uh, where'd I put it? Nah, of course, stuff goes. Oh, there it is. Uh, so I did pull that plate off, and uh, that was heatsink compound on there. So that's actually like a little heat spreader. So, and I went ahead and I shorted those two pins together for the USB. So now let's try it out and see what happens. So let me go ahead and flip on my power supply like that. And now I've got my meter. Set back to the amps. Let me see if I can uh, get it in the shot a little better. There we go, and you can see my phone in the background. So we should know if that immediately when that phone lights up, or if that phone lights up, we know that it's charging. So let me jump over these two wires together. Hoorah! Oh, oops. Let me change the. Ooh, see that? Now my phone is charging at its designed 1.5 amps. And let me show you again. The phone lights up. All right, the screen tape does take a second to fall back asleep. There we go. Okay, so connect the charger. First it comes up to, there we go. And we have full charging. Fantastic. And that's exactly what I wanted to see. Now my phone will charge normally off of this charger. Um, thank you for watching. So this is just uh, this is kind of an impromptu hack, mostly because this charger was pissing me off. Like I said, it was ra it's rated at correctly the 2.1 amps, but it wouldn't actually. And it's not that it wouldn't supply it to my phone correctly. It was my phone wasn't recognizing the charger because of the uh, dedicated charging port standard. And my phone was only pulling point you know less than half an amp from the charger. So now. Uh, that my phone sees the charger as a dedicated charging port, it'll pull full charging voltage, I'm sorry, full charging current from it. So now I'm going to put this uh, plate back on and put the charger back together, and I'm probably just going to super glue the two halves back together. Uh, if you like the video, uh, please give me a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you like the videos that I do, please subscribe. Uh, on YouTube and if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section on either YouTube or my website. Uh, thank you for watching.